Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to share with you money saving tips for glue storage. Now all these tips come from you guys, the viewers, when you commented on my previous video on the types of glue that I use in my wood shop. I got so many great tips and so much good advice on how to store glue that I thought I'd compile it all in one video and share it with you guys. First off, PVA glue. PVA glue is a pretty simple one to store. More or less, you can store it at room temperature. You do not want it to freeze, however, so you wanna make sure you bring it in for the winter time. If you do let it freeze, from what I understand, it's not much good after that. So you wanna make sure that you have it stored at room temperature. I typically have it in a closet inside the house because my garage is not insulated, so during the winter time, I often get a little bit of a freeze. We don't get Arctic temperatures here, but we usually hover around 30 degrees or a little less. So I wanna make sure that I've got this stored in the house during the winter and just out of habit that's where i keep it now i might take one of my bottles and leave it in the shop during the summer just so i have it handy for the most part just like my finishes and just like my polyurethane i'll usually store those in the house one of the things that people have been asking is how do you know when your glue is finished how do you know when it's no good anymore from what i understand and what i've read and what I've experienced myself. When the glue comes out of the bottle very slowly or in chunks or it just kind of globs together, that's usually a sign that it's no longer doing the job that it should be doing. And you should probably just throw it out. Sometimes if you've got an older bottle hanging around, you can add a little bit of water to it and it will be usable again. So you can extend the life of it. However, you wanna make sure that you're checking it frequently and like i said in my previous video don't buy huge quantities of it if you're not going to use it the other thing to note is that pva glue typically doesn't like to be stored in a really hot place either it's probably not good you want to keep it around 68 degrees or a little less and so don't store it in a really hot room or in a furnace room or wherever you're going to have a lot of heat ca glue which either comes in a single bottle like this or it comes with a bottle and an activator. As I said in my previous video, the activator spray usually lasts quite a long time. You can store it at room temperature on a shelf somewhere. However, the CA glue itself does not last long if you store it at room temperature. In fact, it will turn into a solid mass pretty much within a couple of months. So what several of you had submitted in the comment feed in my last video is that this glue can be stored in the refrigerator and that's the best way to store it. And some of you even mentioned that it can last a year or longer if you keep it in the refrigerator. So that's where I've been keeping mine. If I open my refrigerator, you'll find my little bottle of CA glue right next to the Keen's hot mustard and right above the Green Dragon hot sauce. I haven't tested this theory for longer than a few months, but so far so good. It's still liquid and it still works and I've been using it on and off. Next we get to polyurethane glue which is one of my favorites. Especially for outdoor projects you want to use polyurethane glue. Here's the construction glue version of it which is really handy for all kinds of outdoor projects especially if you're building a shed or even if you're building a retaining wall and you're using this glue to glue the top layer of your bricks in your retaining wall. I've used this for all kinds of fence projects and gate projects. The downside to this format is that once you've opened it, it really has to be used up fairly quickly, within a couple of days at least. The biggest problem with polyurethane glue is when the moisture hits it, it basically starts to solidify and then it's pretty much done. It'll turn into a solid mass. So what you want to do is make sure that air escapes you want to try and get as much air out of the tube when you store it and then you probably want to pack it in some kind of a plastic bag and use some kind of dry packs within the bag to keep the moisture content out of the tube. Now I haven't tried that method with construction glue, however, my polyurethane Gorilla Glue is happily in a Ziploc bag and when I open it and over the last month or so, I've pulled this out several times to work on a couple of projects 
and it's just as good as new. Uh, one of the tips that I got from one of the viewers is that you want to make sure that you're either storing it upside down so that the air is out of the top of the bottle or you want to squeeze as much air out of it as you can before you put the lid back on. So I've been doing that. I've been storing it upside down in the Ziploc bag and inside my Ziploc bag I have these silica dry packs. Okay, you guys have probably recognized these. Sometimes when I order tools or whatever, uh, they'll have these packs in the box and that's to absorb any moisture that gets within the packaging. And I don't throw these out, I usually keep these. I've been using them in some of my tool drawers just to keep the moisture out of the tool drawers. If you have these and keep them in any of your drawers or any of the bins that you store any kind of steel tools in that will keep them from getting corrosion or rust and they work pretty well but as it turns out they work really well for storing polyurethane glue so I throw a couple of these in the Ziploc bag then I take my polyurethane glue in this case Gorilla Glue throw it in upside down and want to make sure you get all the air out so you squeeze all the air out of it lock it up and it's good to store. I'll usually put it in a drawer upside down or store it on a shelf upside down like this and so far that has been working out really really well. Alternately with the polyurethane glue you can store it in a coffee can or something full of rice, uncooked rice obviously, just like if you drop your cell phone in the water and you're trying to dry it out. Same kind of trick it keeps the moisture out of the bottle and it keeps the glue liquid for longer. The one type of glue I neglected to mention in my last glue video was epoxy. Uh, I think I didn't have any in the shop that day. I usually buy marine epoxy because it's probably the best uh, all around epoxy to use for most jobs. But I just happened to have a couple of tubes of the JB Weld, which is basically epoxy. It's a two-part epoxy. I just recently used these and I'm just storing them at room temperature. Ideally, epoxy likes to be stored at around 70 degrees. That works pretty well so far. I like these simple tubes because these tubes actually keep all of the air out. You can actually squeeze the air out of the top and it pretty much stays malleable and workable. I've had trouble with the marine epoxy because it comes in that mono tube and there's just two parts to it and they squeeze out to the top. It kind of automatically mixes the two parts. Those are not my favorite. I've never had much luck with storing those because they're hard to seal up again and you really got to make sure that you get the air out of the top. Otherwise, when you go to store it, you're going to find in about a month it's going to be a solid mass. So. Be careful with those. One little bit of advice that I got was to store it on a piece of cardboard or on a piece of bare wood. So that actually apparently lengthens the lifespan of it. Keep it out of direct sun, of course, and you should be fine and you should be able to use this for quite a long time. Lastly, I wanna talk about PVC cement. Not really your typical wood shop adhesive. PVC cement is handy for any of the PVC board work that you might use for outdoor projects. Like I said, I use this for planter boxes on the outside, like decorative flower boxes and things like that. Plumbing is the main usage for PVC glue and you're using that on PVC pipes, etc. However, storing it is very similar to what you would do for CA glue. You can keep PVC cement in the fridge and it will last a good long time. Now, it's kind of a weird thing to store in your fridge, but it does work. Um, if you are using it and you open the, the bottle, this is what the consistency should look like. It should just run straight down like that. <sighs> if you built model airplanes or anything like that as a kid, the smell will be familiar. For it to work fast, it usually bonds in about 30 seconds. So for it to work fast, it has to be at room temperature but you want to keep it nice and cold when you're storing it.
If you want to help me continue to make and edit these videos, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you could watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.